Hi, I'm Mark Hunley. Today on the Spec Show, we're going to talk about bolting, swivel hoist rings, and lifting concrete with them. Some of the things we're going to show you today are going to be different components we're going to use to actually mount on concrete to lift. One of them happens to be a wedge anchor. Again, this is going to be installed in the concrete to help lift the concrete if we need it. Some of the other components that we'll use, swivel hoist rings. For installation, we're going to use a rotary hammer, sledgehammer, and a torque wrench. So with our swivel hoist ring, we have two different types. This particular type happens to be a four-piece swivel hoist ring. Once that's together, we make sure that we have our bolt installed in the hoist ring. If for some reason we happen to round off our bolt where we can't use it, with a full nut, which we have there, we can still use that. So as we drill our hole, there's some considerations that we have to have. With our half inch wedge anchor, we need to make sure that we have the right edge distance, depth, and spread on those. Our engineers from FEMA tell us that we have to be at least six times the diameter off the edge of our half inch wedge anchor, 12 times the diameter of our half inch wedge anchor apart, and six times diameter embedment. Nine times ultimate is what we'd like to have. So the first thing we need to do is drill our hole. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So now that we've drilled our hole, we're gonna to have to clean the hole out. Make sure that we clean the dust off our drill bit before we remove it from the hole. That way we know the excess dust hasn't dropped down on the hole and affected our depth that we need for our installation of our wedge anchor. Now we're gonna install our wedge anchor with our swivel hoist ring. With the installation, as I talked about earlier, make sure that you install the wedge anchor in your swivel hoist ring before driving your bolt into the hole. Again, very important. This bolt is designed to strike, so make sure that you have your nut low enough that you're not going to strike the nut and the bolt. Once our bolt is driven all the way down, we'll use our torque wrench, set at 50 foot-pounds, to torque our wedge anchor to the proper setting. Now that we have our swivel hoist ring installed, we can still swivel and pivot our hoist ring. A very nice, strong attachment. So what we've shown you today is the installation of a swivel hoist ring using a wedge anchor. Very strong attachment point, gives us about a 2,500 pound rating lifting. The bolt, of course, is much stronger than that, so our weakest link is gonna be our swivel hoist ring. If you need more information, contact Spec Rescue International at specrescue.com.